We all want our content to be seen by as many people as possible. And sometimes it just doesn't happen. And that may be the result of your content not passing the value test. What is the value test? Tune into this week's minicast to find out. Episode 146 starts right now. Welcome to the Laura Shipman Show minicast, a special edition of my podcast where it's just you, me, my mic, your earphones, plus quick tips and hacks you can implement immediately to improve your life and your business. Are you ready to get started? I know I am. Let's dive in. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the show. I'm so glad you're here because it is my favorite day of the week, and that is Mini Cast Day. And this is the day where we dive in, we grab all the information, jump out, and then put it into action. And today we're talking about your content and whether or not it passes the value test. And the value test is something I think is critically important to whatever you're putting out there on social media, regardless of the platform you're using. Okay, but before we put your content through the, and I'm using air quotes here, value test, we need to answer this question first. How often should you post? And my answer may be controversial to some, but I keep this phrase in my mind when I'm deciding on post frequency. And that phrase is, Each day you post, people remember you. Each day you skip, people forget. It's kind of impactful when you think about it. But I want to say this before we move on. Don't post for posting sakes just because you think you need to be seen every day. Instead, post with purpose and post with value in mind. Okay, with that phrase in mind and also posting with purpose and value in mind too, determine how often you think you can realistically post with a ton of valuable content. And that's going to take some time and it's going to take a commitment from you to post extremely valuable content. Okay, now that you've got that kind of sorted out in your head, here are the value test questions we need to run through every time we post something on social media. The first one is, is the content I'm creating valuable to the people I want to attract? And if so, how does it serve them and what's in the, in it for them? And so this is what I always say. Your goal is to tune into everyone's personal radio station. And it is their by far favorite radio station that exists on the planet. And it's, if you've never heard of it before, it's called WIIFM. And that's actually an acronym that stands for What's In It For Me. If you can appeal to what's in it for them, then yes, move on. Yes, go ahead and post that content because you're passing that first value test question. Okay, the second test question you need to ask yourself is, is the content or post something others would want to share because it makes them look good? So think about that for a minute. If you post a really funny meme and people share it, that makes them look good because they sourced out the funny meme. Or if you decide to share a piece of content that is highly educational and people will really learn from it and get quick wins from it, the person who is consuming that information and decides to share it out to somebody else and to their followers and fans and whoever looks like a hero because they just solved a problem for somebody. So think about that when you are creating your content. Is it something shareable? Will people literally want to share this content because it reflects well on them. Our next value test question is somewhat similar, but the question is this, why would someone engage, comment, or share your content? Or is the content actually compelling enough for them to take action in the form of engagement? Do you think that people will take that extra time and make that extra effort to hit that like button? And I know it's really hard to do that because it's a finger tap and being sarcastic and facetious here, but will they actually take that extra time to do that? And will they take that extra effort to, you know, tap on the comment section and start getting their fingers ready to float across the keyboard and leave some sort of meaningful comment or better yet, is it compelling enough that they just cannot help, but to hit that share button because they know they're going to make a difference in someone else's day just because they shared a piece of content you created. 
So if your content actually passes that test question, then it's time to move on to the next one. And this one is, does my content truly help or is it in fact selling to someone? In my opinion, content that helps someone do something better is the best type of content you can provide. Not only does it help your audience, but it positions you as an expert and a thought leader in your field. So think about that for a second. When you are a true thought leader and an expert in your field, you gain that no like, and trust quicker than anybody else in that industry or in that space. And that's what you want to go for because people who have that kind of respect in their industry, in their niche, in their space actually find it easier to sell later on because they've done all the hard work up front. They've laid the foundation for what their audience can expect from them when they make a purchase from them. The next value test question, and I love this one, is does my content create a transformation? So when audience members can experience an immediate benefit, a quick win or transformation, the value of that content increases dramatically. And that's what I'm hoping I'm doing for you right here through this podcast. I hope you're taking copious notes, writing down these ideas, and maybe ideas are flowing in as you're hearing what I'm saying and you're thinking, oh, I can reposition my content to look this way so that I am adding extreme value to the experience my audience is having with me. And that's what you want to get out of the majority of posts that you put out there. The next question you want to ask yourself when you're creating content is, is my content relatable, believable, and realistic? I mean, can your audience actually imagine themselves in a similar circumstance, situation, or enjoying the final outcome, benefit, or transformation from the content you provide? If your answer is yes, you are going to win. You will capture their attention every single time. Those are the six test questions you want to run your content through every time you create a new piece of content. So just as a quick recap, the first one is, is the content I'm creating valuable to the people who I want to attract? The second question is, is the content something others would want to share because it makes them look good? The third one is, why would someone engage, comment, or share your con- your content? Or is it compelling enough to take action in the form of engagement. The next one is, does my content truly help or does it sell? Number five is, does my content create a quick win or transformation? And number six is, Is my content relatable, believable, or realistic, or all of the above? Well, that's it for this mini cast. I hope you learned a lot and now you know what to do, right? It's your job to go ahead and execute everything you learned here today. And don't forget, tag me in the posts that you're working on. I want to see how you're using the information, how you're growing your presence, and how you're growing your business online. All right. Until next time, my friends, stay healthy, stay safe, and most of all, stay social. Hey, before you go, I have a question for you. Are you loving the show? Let me know about it. Take a screenshot of the episode you are listening to and drop it in your social media posts or stories, or better yet, give this show a review on iTunes or your favorite podcast app, letting me know that you listened in. If you have a topic or show idea, please don't be shy. I want to hear from you. Send me an email or a DM. I would love to hear your suggestions. All the links are in the show notes. Anyways, I just wanted to say thank you as always for tuning into the show today and every day you listen in.